Hi, I'm Lawrence from Petrodict. Today we're going to go through the basic scan tool procedures using the Harnatec UltraScan P1. The vehicle we've chosen here is fitted with an OBD2 plug under the dash, and we've gone ahead and connected up to it. Let's go and have a look. We're going to go ahead and choose number one for scan, and we're going to go to enhanced scan. This is an Australian vehicle. I'm going to choose number five. Australian Holden. And just scroll through the menu to get the vehicle you're looking for. Choose the engine that we've got here. The order that this is written on the screen is how I would suggest you attack your diagnostic procedures. Once you've interrogated your customer for a symptom, first thing you want to have a look at is a, the first thing you want to look at are for any fault codes. Number one, diagnostic trouble codes. In this case, we have none. If the customer has a valid complaint about their vehicle, we can then use the current data to look through and see if we can find any anomalies. In this case, perhaps the customer has complained of a high fuel usage. If we scroll through this, we can look at our fuel trims. And as we can see, these are all within specification at plus or minus 5%. So the problem does not lie there. Perhaps next we can have a look at an oxygen sensor and start the vehicle and watch the pattern. We even have the ability to graph these sensors and check for correct operation. Once you've looked through the current data, you may have more questions that, you could, that could be answered by using an activation test. In the actuator menu, we've got a list of components that we can control from the scan tool. From here, you can see I can operate the fuel pump, I can do a volume test, and I can ensure, obviously, that we have fuel coming up to the rail. We've activated the fuel pump, and we can hear it running. And if we put a pressure gauge up the front, we could even see it, ensure that we've got the correct pressures. Cells reset on the hold in here allows us to clear the fuel trims. If I enter this, I've now reset the learned values back to the factory default. This will certainly help in our performance and economy. Function tests will allow us to do a power balance test on this Commodore, which will individually deactivate an injector at a time, allowing us to ensure that all cylinders are contributing evenly to the running of this vehicle. Operation of the scan tool, as you can see, is not difficult. In fact, it's really quite simple. What you need help on, perhaps, is knowing how to understand and, and interpret the data, and that's where we come in. Don't forget, you've always got a friend at the end of the telephone line, 021 to scan, or Auckland 09448 We're happy to help you diagnose. Thanks for watching. I hope that's given you another insight into some of our favourite diagnostic tools. Do join us again. Keep a look out at the Petroject website. That's at www.petroject.co.nz for other great videos coming soon.